Let's have a look at the slide now. Our next aspect is sex chromosomes. Now we have 20 pairs of autosomes and one pair of gonosomes in the body. Want hou jy 23 pare chromosome. 46 het elke mens in elke cel. En 22 van daar die pare noem ons autosome. En hulle bepaal gewone lichaamskenmerke. Maar twee van die 46 chromosome, een paar, noem ons gonosome. Ne, gonosomes. En dit word X en Y chromosome genoem. And the reason why we have X and Y chromosomes is simply because of the shape. There's an X shape and there's a Y. If you can see two short arms and a short leg. And um, if you are a male, you will have XX, uh, um, XY. Female will have XX. If we can have a look at the pictures on the board here. Daar was dit ook laas gesê. Manlik het de X chromosome en een Y chromosome. En vrouwelijk het de X en een X chromosome. En dit is hoe kom ons iets kruis soos geslagsgekoppelde siektes. Gestel nou maar, daar die vrouw is een draar. Sy dra daar een geslagsgekoppelde geen. Voor iets soos hemofilie by voorbeeld. Nou, we have meiosis with our X en Y, X en X. If these two come together, it is a girl and she's a carrier. She won't have the disease because she's got a healthy dominant gene there. That will suppress this uh, um, sick, um, whatever it is, for instance, hemophilia. But what if these two come together? There is the gene and there's the Y. Can you see there is no dominant gene to suppress? And this poor boy will be a sufferer. And that's how sex-linked diseases work. In other words, Lorraine, if we yes. can just maybe make it also a bit clear there, mm -hmm. is that boys, they will always get their X chromosome from their mother. Yeah. They inherit the X chromosome from the mother, and girls, they get the X chromosome from the father. And one from the mother, and one, one from, from the father, mother, yes. Yeah. But remember, the boys, they get their Y chromosomes from their father, but the X chromosome from their mother. Yeah. And that's why, to a certain extent, not that it's done deliberately or that we have any control over it, but that is why one can say that the father determines mm. the sex of the baby. That's right. Because the father can give an X or a Y, the mother can just give an X.